Evening, everybody. Let's start off by giving this 12-digit number a name, since we'll reference it later on. Let's call it capital N. Okay. And um, again, it's a 12-digit number. We're looking for the remainder when we, when we divide this 12-digit number in by 101. Now, I'm going to do it in a modular arithmetic fashion because um, this statement right here, our, our 12-digit number congruent to R, R standing for remainder modulo 101 is equivalent. And the other way to write this is N is equal to, uh, let's see, 101 Q. We'll let Q stand for the quotient. Okay, and then plus a remainder. Y'all, this is very well known. If you divide a number by 101, your possible remainders would be 0, uh, less than or equal to R, uh, strictly less than 101. Of course, these are integers. So the possible remainders when you divide anything by 101 would be the remainder 0. That would be if it was a multiple of 101 or it could be zero all the way up to 100. Notice this, this integer r is strictly less than 101. So let's get going on this. Now, um, we wrote our natural number n, and I have it, y'all, sorry, I, I wrote it this way. I, it's, it's small, I know, but I wanted to keep it all on the same line. But n, our number what, that we're interested in performing the division, uh, this is the Hindu Arabic expansion. It's 89 times 10 uh, to the 10th, 78 times 10 to the 8th, all the way out. And it's easier to see if you start from over here. 34, of course, goes would be times 10 to the 0 if you want to write it that way. And then 45 times 10 squared, the next, th these digits right here, and so on. Okay? Now, the reason why that's useful, folks, is because uh, from a standpoint of congruence, uh, let me just write the statement down that, that's very, very useful right here. Um, you can write down that 10 squared is congruent to negative 1 mod 101. And guys, if you're not familiar with, with this modular arithmetic notation, this literally means that 10 squared, which is 100, minus a negative one. This should be 101 here, sorry. Let me, let me. Uh, I gotta erase that. Okay, let's get the pin back. Okay, so uh, mod 101. Oh, I got a bigger letter, but I don't wanna waste any time here. So 10 squared is 100, 100 minus negative one is 101. And technically this means it would be a multiple. Well, 101 is a multiple of itself, okay. So we got this very useful fact that 10 squared is congruent to negative 1 mod 101. And you can see that's what I did right here is I just replaced all of these. See, notice that uh, this very first one, let me see if I can get right up here and write this just directly above it. This would be the same thing as 10 squared raised to the fifth power. You see we're using properties of exponents, okay, right there directly above the 10 to the 10th, raised to the fifth power. And then in a similar fashion, well, let's go over to here to six, just so we'll have room. This would be 10 squared uh, cubed. And I don't, I'm not gonna write them all out, but you can see the idea. And so that explains down here on this lower line why you have this five, if you can see that five there, four, three, two, one. And the minus one is exactly this minus one you see right here. You see the minus one along here. So see, that's a tremendous computation reduction tool because, you know, here we don't have, we don't have to find out what Q is. If we weren't using modular arithmetic, we would be confined to that 101 into this 12-digit number using that tedious error-prone uh, long division. But instead, we, we never have to even mess around with the quotient. We can just deal with the remainders, basically. And you can see what happens right here, folks. You got 89 times minus 1 raised to the fifth power. Well, that's minus 89. And you can see the rest of it. Okay, you can see the rest of it. Now, uh, this all adds up to 
negative 33, we're seeking a remainder between 0 and 100. And so 68, of course, is congruent. Okay. Uh, 2 minus 33. And it's, again, 68. That's the same as 68 plus 33, uh, which would be 101. Okay. And again, we're doing modular arithmetic. Uh, the modulus is 101. Okay. So this is our answer, folks, 68. Now, again, so, folks, what we did is we found out that R was 68 in a relatively straightforward fashion. In other words, uh, again, I maybe I didn't make myself clear a moment ago, but if you had just done the regular long division, you know, do 101, you know what I'm talking about, 101, and again, I'm avoiding re rewriting it, 101 divided into N, and you know how tedious that can be with, with a 12-digit number, right? If you, that, That's what we'd have to do. You'd have to actually find the quotient, and you'd have a remainder at the end of the process. And you'd probably make tons of mistakes along the way, you know. So uh, this way literally circumvents the need to, to find Q directly. The big discovery is that 10 squared is congruent to negative 1. That's what gets the job done. And you can see how negative 1 appears 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times here. Uh, and it's real easy to raise negative one to any power you want, uh, any, any uh, positive integer uh, exponent. So anyway, that's that's the, that's it, folks. I thought it was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, thank you for viewing.